Okay, so last time on Yakuza 4, we had just, um, uh, what did we mostly do? Uh, I think we did, uh, we could, uh, we went to Club Elise, we started off, uh, with, uh, Nana, who I believe was the first girl we recruited. Back when we did Hostess Maker. Um, so... Uh, we started hanging out with her. I think we brought- we got her up to, uh, the first date. And mostly, she was just explaining to Tanimura basically the same thing she was telling Akiyama before. How she's mostly doing this ho Hostess thing to try to find a rich man who can, um, but he's also, like, juggling wanting to be an independent woman who, like, wants to run a successful business and is also trying to look for a rich man that she could, uh, marry. Um, and then, uh, we went to Bar Shellac because, uh, when I was looking through the sub-story menu during the intro last time, I look, saw that we had a sub-story that we didn't complete, because I had completely forgot about it, involving uh, Saki-chan, who was the, like, Okama, who was kind of helping us with the uh, bridge case. Uh, so we went to meet with her, and... Um, it turns out that Yabe died because he was talking to a woman from Hong Kong who was the, uh, the, um, who was a pretty high up position in the syndicate. Uh, and he got, he kind of got her to spill some details about the business. Um, which ended up getting him killed. Gang violence supported at an adult shop on North Pig Street. Yeah, it's literally right here, isn't it? Um. Huh? They pay that protection money now, you stiff may not bust up your shop. Huh? Where do you expect me to get 5 million yen on such short notice? Ah, oh, great. A shady brothel and a yakuza who looks like a complete moron. I think we've seen this one before. <laughs> Can I have a word with you? I'm with the Kamarocha Police Department. Yeah. What do you want, pig? I'd hate to inconvenience a decent yakuza like you, but isn't there a better way to do this? If you just used your brain, you wouldn't have to worry about trouble from the police. Mm. Are you giving me a goddamn lecture? Fine, I'll let him off the hook this time. Oh, that was easy. Thank you, I mean it. Well, if you mean it, then why don't you show me? Huh? You're employing illegal immigrants, right? Now you've got a Yakuza on your back. Seems like you could use a friend on the force. I'm definitely not a crooked cop, but I totally am. Uh, maybe you're right about that. Here, take this. So, yeah, um, basically, uh, yeah, so first off, we stormed the office with the Yakuza, uh, not the Yakuza, the crime syndicate was, had a base in Japan, um, and beat up some of the thugs, and they revealed that the, a, the woman returned to Hong Kong earlier that day uh, because she... You're going to want to fight me, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, so... And apparently Yabe had left some files. Uh, so Tanimo's like, well, where am I going to go find information about that? Uh, so, 
Once again, we went to the fortune teller. And uh, she told us to go to the Kuez bar because, I don't know, it's her wib wibbly magic fortune telling hokum. Um, so we did, and uh, the bartender there revealed that the files he kept, that uh, Yabe kept, were in a locker in the underground. So we went to the underground lockers, which are literally right outside of Kuez Bar. And uh, some other thugs from were there also, so I guess they got the word somehow. So we had to beat them up. And, uh, and we got the files. We also got a letter from Yabe to the bartender. Kind of like confessing his love to her. Or he was going to celebrate her, his birthday or her birthday with her. Or something. And then we actually... Uh, so that was the end of that side story. And uh, the case has kind of gone cold again. So now, uh, after that, we advanced the main plot a bit by going to the underground parking lot and uh, continuing uh, and looking for the car that the uh, the key that Yasko gave us would fit. We literally had to go to like every car because Hanimura didn't have the foresight to ask which car it was. So we literally had to look through every car that we could access the trunk to. Um, but eventually we found it. North Pink Street. Uh, again? It's probably because I'm sticking in that area. Uh, so, we found the money. And Tiny Moon's like, well, now I've got to get in contact with Katsuragi. How's that going to happen? And as soon as he walked out of the parking lot, we got a message from... A mysterious anonymous person who uh, I had to thought that it was probably the forest because he offered to um, he offered to like uh, get Katsuragi and Tanimura in contact with each other if Katsuragi could prove his uh, uh, prove that he's a worthy detective. So we had to literally find his contact. Uh, he gave us a clue. It was... Luckily, I deduced exactly where it was. Uh, pretty easily. And uh, when we got there, it was the contact was a homeless person carrying a bouquet of flowers. So that basically absolutely confirmed that it was the uh, florist. And inside the bouquet of flowers, there was a note saying that we passed the test and he, Ka, Katsuragi would be contacting us soon. And it was like really soon because he basically called immediately. Uh, and Tanimura and him agreed to a handoff uh, the next day in front of the Millennium Tower. So that way Tanimura agreed to it like he suggested it because he you know he's worried about you know, getting picked off. It's like, that won't really happen in public. It's like, but, I don't know, we'll probably, I feel like it will happen when we eventually get to it. Um, and then there was, so, like, we're basically all set up for that handoff. I just need to go talk to Jow about it. Uh, so, but instead, uh, we did some side stories. Uh, for, we did some more side stories, and, like, was continuing the relationship with Nana. Uh, which I might do some more of today. I might decide to finish it before doing the finale of this chapter. Because I feel like... The handoff is totally the finale for this chapter. Like, it really feels like we're about to 
do the finale bit for this chapter. Uh, like I said, I just need to go talk to Jow whenever I'm ready. Uh, the first side quest that we did after the handoff was um, some people from... Oh, there's a guy. Hello, Big Deck. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm just, you're doing well? That's good. I'm just recapping what happened the last time. Getting ready for work? Oh, uh, you, you work like a late shift? Actually, I don't know. I don't know where you live. It could be early for you. <laughs> Hot and soon sort of thing, Bob. I should remember that. Um, so yeah, the first of the... Let me just bring up the sub-story menu. This will be a lot easier if I could look. You EST? Oh, so you do work a late shift, yeah, because I'm also EST. Uh, the first one we did was... Yeah, okay. There was a bunch of uh, people came by. Oh, uh, done at 8? That's not bad. Uh... Uh, there was a bunch of people who came in and beat up Jiao at Homeland and took the money from Asian Gateway because they thought that you, get, you got to screw around for most of my eight hours. Nice. What, are you on break right now? If you're saying you're eight hours. Ah, you're on break. Ah! Well, thank you for coming in during your, uh, work break. Alright, so there's a bunch of people, uh... Yeah, they beat up Jow and took some of the money from Asian Gateway. Because they were... They, uh, they believed that Tani Murr was a corrupt cop. And, uh, he kind of, uh, shook down innocent people. And they were trying to be defenders of justice and whatnot, and they kind of got the wrong idea because Tani Mura, while he might be a corrupt cop in some cases, uh, the people of Little Asia still like him. And he doesn't do it towards them, usually. Hi, Big Deck. Uh, thank you for popping in. Uh, another case? Possible jumper. Oh, that's important. Okay. Possible jumper. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, where would the cop for that be? We, we should go stop a potential jumper. Uh, you're not the one. Uh, are you the one? Oh, you kind of disappeared out of nowhere, didn't you? Someone's threatening suicide? That's right. There's a man on the roof that says he's going to jump. You can't have him disturbing the peace like this. Let's get him down from there. What are you trying to do? What? Don't try to talk me out of it. Just leave me alone. Don't talk me out of it. I'll kick your ass. That's basically what's going on here. Oh, it looks like you've it looks like you've calmed down because I've knocked you unconscious. Uh, why don't you come down from there? 
that's one way to solve a suicide attempt, I guess. Uh, you guys can take care of the rest. Uh, don't be too harsh on him, all right? Hey, mister, can I have a word with you? Mister, you were awesome up there. I want to give you this in a great show. <laughs> okay. I'm getting paid because I kicked a, suicide, a potential suicider uh, ass and brought him down. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, okay. Getting back to my recap. This recap has been taking a while. Uh, but uh, we... So the, the, it was all a big misunderstanding between the people who took the money and Tanimura. Uh, they wanted, uh, so after we kind of like found them and beat them up, because that's basically how we solve every problem in this game. Ooh, that might be better than what I'm wearing. Uh, that could go in the bin though. Uh, 10, 12, 5, 10, 10, 10, nope. I'll just stick with 10, 10, 10 rather than 10, 12, 5. <laughs> At least for now. If I had all three rage items, that'd be a lot better. It'd be even better. Um, so, uh, basically after we beat them up, we got them to agree to help out Asian Gateway. Um, and Mayhua is going to give them the rundown. And the other side story also involved, uh, Little Asia. The last one we did last time. And, um, some of the kids were, uh, tagging up places around Little Asia. Because they were... Uh, kind of, you know, venting their frustration at, like, the government or whatever for taking their parents away. Tanimura uh, basically had to chase each kid down and was basically playing hide and seek with them because every time you try to like confront one of the kids about it, the kid like ran away and hid. So um Uh, so we basically chased each kid down, and we basically had to give the kids a life lesson about, uh, how it doesn't matter if you're, you know, rich, poor, or what ethnicity you are, everybody's the same, yeah, and, uh, anyone has the potential to be, uh, great. It was, like, it was, the life lesson was something like that. And, uh, so, yeah. That, that was basically all that happened last time. Okay, this time, we're I'm going to trigger the finale for this chapter eventually. We'll get to it, I swear. But for now, since I'm in the area, I think I'll continue with Nana. At least a little bit. Like, maybe we'll do one visit. Maybe, well, it depends. If we do really well in the visit, it's going to go right into the second date, which goes into the last visit. So we'll see. We might just finish up Nana right here. And then do the finale of the chapter. Because I honestly feel like the handoff is going to be the finale. There's no way that it's not. Basically, Zhao is sitting there asking 
Hey man, um, it's going to take some time to, uh, the, like, the handoff is not for a few hours, you should get some rest while you can. So it's like basically asking, hey man, are you, like, the underlying message is, hey man, are you ready to start the finale yet? And I'm like, uh, uh not yet. <laughs> That's basically what the underlying message is. Thanks for the other day. I had a good time. Thanks for the other day. I had a great time. You said that earlier, but okay. About those mass emails, uh, it seems like you're getting used to how things are done at hostess clubs. I guess both sides are part of a nice fantasy, aren't they? It ruins it if you take everything at face value. That's right. I prefer customers who understand that. Uh, she must really like the cologne. I should I should have put the cologne on all the other people. That would have gave me like, it, like a quarter heart is not really that much of a difference, but I just don't like her saying, "Oh man, you never change, do you?" It's like it was getting kind of old. Uh... <laughs> All right. The thing is, it's just I didn't know. I don't know what items count for like what the hostess is like. Apparently, the cologne is good. Uh, I don't know if any of the other uh, like. I don't know if certain kinds of apparel count. And if they do, I probably don't have them. So, like, don't worry about it, I guess. Have you heard any interesting gossip around town? I've been so busy recently that I haven't been keeping up with recent trends. Uh, something interesting, eh? Yeah? Let's see. Um, you heard about Amoebatar? Uh, you ever heard of Amoebatar? Yeah. Uh, yep. I even have friends who I came to know through it. Oh, is that so? You can play games on it. You play games on it too, then? Well, when work gets crazy and I can't stay on the phone for hours, I chat instead. Chatting's great because you can talk at your own pace. Yeah, it's like kind of sending like email, kind of like sending emails to a pen pal back and forth. You can kind of do it at your leisure. Like, yeah, huh? I guess there's more than just a Meepatar thing than I thought. I've been thinking about changing my hairstyle. What do you think? Oh, is this something exclusive to the, uh... Yeah, sure, if you want. Sounds like a good idea to me. Really? Then maybe I'll try it. Or if that means the next time we see her, she'll be wearing something different. Can I ask you something? Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Uh, what is it? Why are you so fixated on money? Seems a little unusual. Uh, does it bother you? Well, yeah, a bit. Uh, I was just wondering if there was some reason for it. Actually, uh, when I was a child, my family was very poor. It was uh, difficult. My father could barely hold on to a job, so... We lived in this tiny little apartment, and we'd never know if there was, if there'd be food on the table tomorrow. My classmates at school looked down at us. It was just a kid, but it was hard on me. Uh, way to bring the mood down, Tony Murr. My God. Uh, so I decided that when it, if, when I grew up, I'd work hard so I'd never have to live like that again. I see. 
I've always kept that promise to myself. That's why I care so much about money. And I don't think it's a bad thing, to be honest. Am I wrong? Uh... No? But you can be happy without money. I mean... You can be happy without money, you know. There's more to life than that. You only say that because you've never really been poor. You can never be happy without money. Really? People in love look pretty happy to me. Uh, love? Yeah, you would love with money right now, but you have to learn to look deeper. It's people that are important. Money just gets in the way. I'm Burisan. Thank you for worrying so much about me. Maybe I'll find something else. Someday. I'm sure you will. Mm. Really go for some... You could really go for bankrupting me. Uh, said one of your brother's customers ran off on him. Uh, how is he as a host, anyway? It may sound strange for me to say since I'm his sister, but... He's good looking and fun to talk to. He'll... He'll be a great host. He's one of the most promising hosts at his club. Oh, wow. But... But... He's a bit of a spender. He just doesn't have a head for money. And you might not get the... You might not get back the money you lent him? No, that's not the case. He would never do that to me. He's going to do it to you. That's what sound like his mother. That almost sound like his mother. Are you sure you're not being overprotective? <laughs> My brother and I stuck together through some difficult times. We had a special bond. Uh, so you feel responsibility to look after him. He might be taking advantage of that. That's true. So this you may be right. I do wish he'd be a little more independent. Try talking to him. If that doesn't work, then I could have a word with him. Try to put him on a straight and narrow. <laughs> Alright. If I can't handle him, I'll take you up on that. Oh. Oh, just leave him to me. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking some lessons. Oh? That sounds like a good idea. Yes, but I can't figure out what kind of lessons to take. I could take a fitness class, or maybe learn a language, or do pottery. What do you think I should learn? Well... What? Okay, what does it have to do with the staring contest? Foreign language might be a good idea. Can you speak any foreign languages? If you're going to manage your own company, it could be useful to know another language. I'm pretty good at English, actually. I sometimes go abroad for my work. Now, what about Chinese? Chinese and Greek? Which Chinese, though? You mean Mandarin? Why can't we just say Mandarin? Chinese itself is not a language. I, I keep reading this every time, but I'm just, you know, I'm a little miffed at it. <laughs> what about Chinese? China is increasing importance in a lot of different areas. Can't go wrong learning, learning Chinese. I, I could even teach you. Really? It seems like I'm... seems maybe I misjudged you. You obviously gave this a lot of thought. I've been 
working at my company for four years now, in addition to my work here. So, I've got I've got quite a bit of money saved up. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I'm hoping to be able to start my own company sometime next year. Uh, what kind of company? Do you really want to know? No, I'm just asking airheaded questions for no reason. Yeah, sure, tell me. Well, I want to create a line of clothing targeted, targeted mainly at hostesses. Okay, so... It would be inspired by the latest trends in Kamurocho hostess clubs and make them available nationwide. I think it could be really popular. Sounds like a good idea to me. I mean... Sounds like a good idea. I think it could really succeed. Really? Thank you! Working in an office and as a hostess, you're making a dream come true by starting your own company? You sound like a superwoman. <laughs> Thanks! I don't want anyone to beat me to it, so this is our little secret, okay? Uh, I guess it's a good time to leave. Because we max out our hearts. Hey, BDT! It's going alright, how about yourself? Oh, you give it a 3 out of 10? Oh my god, it's actually better than usual for you? That's good news. What's the occasion? Why, why are things better than usual? Me too. Hi! Dogecoin? Ah, uh, is it- is Dogecoin up? I- I don't- I don't follow crypto, so I have no idea. Uh, high price to pay. My other job had me so busy a few days ago that I just couldn't get away. Oh, I cancelled my hostess shift at the last minute. I have to pay a 10k penalty. Isn't that a little steep? It wasn't like I was going AWOL or anything. It didn't have to be so high. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, nice. Uh. Well, I hate it when people cancel on me suddenly. Yeah, 100 buck fine for can- Like, yeah, $100 fine for- for having to cancel a shift. I mean, that's a bit interesting that they have a fine at all. But I guess I understand it. Hello, it's me, Nana. Oh, hi. Uh, what's up? Would you like to hang out before I go to the club? Uh, you mean on a date? Yeah. Why don't we meet at Cafe Alps at Nakamichi Street? Okay. Don't keep me waiting. Uh, I think Nakamichi Street is this street, right? I just need to go down the street. Oh yeah, this is basically just going to... Uh, Suspicious male reported stalking a woman in Nakamichi Alley. I should probably help with that. Uh, how much of this is Nakamichi Alley, though? The question. Uh, is all of this Nakamichi Alley? Come on, you know you want to hang out with me. I told you I'm not interested. Somebody get this guy away from me! Uh, hey, I'm with the police. You better knock it off before I haul you in. Huh? Huh? Mind your own goddamn business. I'll pick up chicks however I like. Uh, no you won't, because I'm gonna kick your ass now. Because... That ain't right, dude. <laughs>
You, you really saved me. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Um, detective, do you think I could get your phone number? Oh, um, I'm really not allowed to do that. Yeah, and I gotta get to a cafe anyway. Luckily, that's right here. So. Oh, you're early. Oh my god, she did change her hairstyle. I got here early too. So, where are you going to take me? Uh... How about darts? We're gonna play darts at Bantam? Are you a darts player, Tony Murasan? I didn't expect that. I only started playing recently. Let's have a nice, relaxing game. Shall we get going? Hopefully this time I can function correctly. You'll have a harder time beating you than you think. I I don't think so, but okay. You'll see. Let's go inside. Right, let's give it a go. Let's -a go. I know how to play counter. Oh, what? Okay. Why are you so bad, Tani Mara? Is that the game purposely throws the first round for some reason? That's not at all what I was aiming. Great. <laughs> What the fuck? Why did that? I'm gonna lose because the fuck something's all wonky. It's not at all working how I think it should be working. Look up how does they like change how you play the game in each one? Do I gotta look out how darts is different in this one? Oh my god. You're gonna hate that for winning. Normally they don't. The game not anticipate me losing. There's, there should be a line for me losing. But for this girl and for the previous girl, on Chihiro, they both think I won even though I lost. That's weird. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, I lost. I should have guessed the policeman would be good at darts. You've got good aim. No, I've got terrible aim, apparently. Uh, I suppose so. I had a really good time. Want to head over to the club now? Uh, sure. I should have quit while I was ahead. Uh, quit what? Play Pachinko? He doesn't have any money, but he goes and plays Pachinko? Yeah, he's probably uh, taking the money you give him and playing Pachinko with it. He hasn't paid you back yet, has he? No! He better straighten up or I'll have to have a talk with him. I think you should do that now. You might want to have that talk sooner than later. Yeah. Come on, let's go to the club. Thanks for taking me out today. Hey, you want to head into the club for a couple of drinks? I guess we'll be together all day. No. I changed my hairstyle. What do you think? Yeah, it looks great. Really? Thank you. I'm so happy. You must have put a lot of extensions in. <laughs> uh, about that time I canceled my shift at the last minute. It really is rude to the customers coming to see me, isn't it? <laughs> I realize that now, thanks to you. Well, I understand that sometimes you have to take time off. You, you just have to let people know about it. Um... I'll have the free beer, please. <laughs> I guess the, the hostess maker girls, they asked the question about changing the hair because uh they they can change the the hairstyle on the models because that was the whole point of the hostess maker you could put them in whatever hairstyle was available have you heard any interesting gossip around town i've been so busy recently that i haven't been keeping up with recent trends um Man, have you heard about the pole dancing workout? They say pole dancing's great for losing weight. Mm -hmm. Um, you mean that dance you do while stripping? Yeah. No, no, no. It's more of an aerobics thing, except a tad more intense. It uses your muscles way more than no normal aerobics and slims your entire body down. Even Hollywood stars are doing it. Again, I don't know where they got that rumor from, but I... It doesn't seem accurate to me. But what do I know? I had no idea. I'll think about giving it a go. I talked to my brother's host club. And what did they say? One of my brother's customers really did one out on a tab. He needed the money I loaned him to pay for it. So it was true. Yes, apparently my brother was so intent on making money for the club that he forced some customers to order things they couldn't afford. Uh, that sounds familiar, yep. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Uh, how so? Your brother's working desperately to make money, just like you. Maybe you're right. We had the same childhood. We both grew up poor. He might think the same way I do. 
But while you save it, he seems to spend it right away. <laughs> yes, in that sense, we could be more different. Oh yeah, he's gonna run himself into the ground at this rate. Uh, this could turn into a problem. Uh, just try to make sure he doesn't work too hard. Hi. Yes, I'll try. So I'm finally taking the first steps towards starting my own business. I'm not sure my savings will be enough, so I've been talking to banks about getting a loan. And I've been writing up a formal business plan. Yeah, because the bank wouldn't give you a loan unless you had a plan, I'm sure. Oh, uh, you're really getting serious. <laughs> of course. This isn't a game. My life depends on this. Oh. Uh, I see. <laughs> anyway, I've been thinking about quitting my job at the cosmetics company so I can focus more on my business. Uh, what about your job here? But your job at the club, are you gonna keep working here? Mm. Well, I don't know yet. It depends on how busy I'll be with my business. Oh, I'd miss you if you quit. Oh, I won't be able to leave if you say that. Yeah, that's right. Guilt tripper, Tony Mara. That's the answer. my job as a hostess, I won't be able to see you anymore. Yeah, we just went over that. Yeah. That's not true. You can always get in touch with me if you need help. Or a friend. <laughs> that makes me feel better. But you wouldn't be my customer anymore. It would be a little strange. <laughs> Let's take a chance on love. How do I know when it's love? I can't tell you, but it lasts forever. Uh, maybe it's our chance for love. Uh, what do you mean? You don't get involved with your customers, right? I wouldn't be a customer anymore. You're right. Maybe that would be our chance. In that case, I'd wish you hurry up and quit. <laughs> well, in that case, I'd wish you hurry up and quit, goddammit. <laughs> no, no, I have to get you to spend money for as long as possible. Well, it ain't gonna be much longer after today. <laughs> you never change, do you? Hey, Atusin, how are you doing today? You're leaving already? Yeah, you have max hearts. Now give me that fancy business card. I like how the business card doesn't match what she looks like. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, <laughs> it's good that you're doing uh, good. Hope to see you again. Well, you won't, because I've completed all the hostesses. I think you're wonderful. Thanks. Bye. I've completed all the hostesses for Tony Murray. You'll never see me again. Ha 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 ha. Stressed out. This totally pervy old guy came by today. It was awful. Don't worry, I'm not talking about you. I decided to cut him some slack if he bought champagne, but... When he at when I asked for some, he told me to get real. Look who's talking, right? It really made me upset. You wouldn't do that. I can relax and chat with you. Uh, no, every time you've asked me for champagne, I've also told you to get real. Because fucking gold champagne costs like 400,000 yen. It's like, yeah, you're trying to bankrupt my ass. No, thank you.
I don't even have that much money. If it was like 400,000 yen, it's like, it would literally put me in debt. Champagne's asking a little much. That should do it. Right, she's gonna probably call soon. Or text. Uh, this is terrible. Kanimura. Kanimura-san, my little brother Shinosuke is a no-show at a host club. If you see him, please let me know. It's really important. He didn't show up for work, huh? Can't believe he'd be off playing Pachinko, but I should probably go check. Yeah, we probably should. Be a real bastard if he was. Alright, the Pachinko parlor's over here. Technically, we could play Pachinko. I know, Pachinko's up here. What am I doing? Restaurant on Tenkaichi Street. Alright, fine. Let me go deal with this disturbance, then we will go. And say, check the pachinko parlor. Huh? You're the one causing trouble? Give it a rest already. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna crush you for putting in where you don't belong. I'm a cop. Uh, Why didn't you... Honey Murray, you need to take out the badge more often, dude. Hey. Bad. Oh, Tony Murasa. <laughs> Sorry for causing you trouble. Yeah, you did. I mean, anyway, you never know what those types will do once you warn them. Dealing with them can be dangerous, so you should call up the police next time. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for taking care of things for us, Tony Murasa. Alright, now we'll go check the pachinko boiler. Chico. A Chico parlor. Here it is. I didn't see anybody yet. Look like it. That host sure was upset. He kept yelling something about returning money. Okay. Excuse me, I need to know more about that host. Uh, what happened exactly? Hmm? Huh? Well, uh, he's a regular here. Uh, he left with a woman a bit ago. They were arguing over repaying money or something. Might be Shin that might be Shinosuke. Maybe he ran into that customer who didn't pay her tab. I think I know that guy. Did you see where he went? I think he went towards Tenkaichi Street, where Public Park 3 is. Okay. Uh, so now we gotta turn around and go back to Public Park number 3. Maybe I should have went here first. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Technically, Puppet Park 3 is on Tenkaichi Alley, but whatever. You can't get away with this! You have to pay your tab! Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? You already paid off the club, right? I don't owe them anything! That's not how that works! <laughs> but you owe me now, so pay up! No! Why, you... Hey, give it up! You're a professional host! Time you learned how to deal with things like this. Was it by you kicking his ass? I don't think that's how you would deal with it, but alright. 
I so prefer a strong man to a pretty faced host. What a what about both? What if you could have a strong guy who's also pretty? Like Tani Mura. <laughs> Damn it. That's enough. Huh? Who are you? I heard everything. You're definitely in the wrong here. I am his money. No way. The host pays if the customer doesn't, right? Those are the rules. He knew that when he started this line of work. No point crying about it now. You may have been a little naive, but it sounds like to me you had no intention of paying what you owed in the first place. That's straight up fraud. And I'm a cop, so, you know, I could take you in for that. Don't be ridiculous. I didn't defraud anybody. Huh? I've heard enough. Time for you to get lost. Oh, and I suppose you're gonna make me? Not if I kick your ass. I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty good at kicking asses. you for this I'll sue your ass okay yeah sure hey right, just be grateful I'm not arresting you hey are you okay yes uh, yes uh, just a minute I'll call your sister huh she knows gay Sis! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at work. I ran into the customer who stiffed me at the club, so I, I tried to make her pay. You got lucky this time, but what if you got hurt? Why would you do something so reckless? I didn't want to cause you any more trouble. Huh? You paid my tuition for me, but... My grades sucked because I'm stupid and I couldn't find a decent job because I'm not good at anything. I just wanted to help you set up your company somehow. That was fast. Yeah, I'm pretty good at kicking asses, mode too. Also, uh, hey, mode too, how are you doing today? Ah, so that's why you became a host. But I had to borrow money from you again to pay my customer's tab anyway. Oh, I suck at everything. Janowski, I didn't know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be apologizing to me. I'm the one who does everything wrong. Now, if I paid more attention to you, things might have not gotten this bad. I've been so caught up with trying to make money that I didn't see what was happening. Sis. Anyway, why are you still here? You gotta get to the club and apologize for missing work. If you go now, maybe they'll just treat it like you're late. Besides, you might ha you might have customers waiting. You're a pro, right? Go do your job. Uh, okay. We'll talk later, okay, sis? He's your brother, all right. You both got the same sense of responsibility. Thank you so much for everything, Tiny Murasan. Hey, I'm a cop. I'm just doing my job. No, you, you treated us like family. A man's never done that for me before. 
Does it get you in the mood? Because... Uh, what do you mean? All the men I've been out with before treated me like some kind of trophy. Something they could show off to people, like an expensive watch or bag. They barely even knew me as a person. You're different, though. I feel completely comfortable with you, like I could tell you anything. I see. My workday is done now. Why don't we go out? Uh, sure. Okay, let's go. I guess it does put her in the mood. <laughs> hey! Uh. Hey. Oh! Uh, what? I've got several missed calls from Shinosuke. Uh, hey now. Oh, no, I forgot all about him. It's all your fault. Why is it my fault? You're gonna have to pay for making me fall so badly for you. They're all, bu they're all business as usual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know what to listen. Hey, now that that's out of the way, there's literally nothing to distract me from. Except for this text message. Oh, okay. I can hardly believe it. All this time, I thought money was the most important thing. Now I don't see how I could ever live without you. I am really glad I became a hostess. If I hadn't, I would never would have found you. I, again, that's not how she looked like in my game, but sure, go right ahead, game. Use her default picture. It's almost like the hostess maker doesn't even freaking matter. Like this sh <laughs> All right. Like I was saying before, now now that we um now that I did that, there's literally nothing to distract us from starting the chapter finale. So, let's go do that. Let's wrap this chapter up by going to start the handoff. However, I do not feel like it's going to go that easy. Oh, we on health. Perfect health. All right, let's just begin then. I think I'll save beforehand just in case. And let's, uh, let's go. Let's go, tr uh, let's go to the handoff, which, again, I do not feel like it's going to go that easy. Machan, you, you ready to go meet with Katsuraki tomorrow? You can rest here until then. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Uh, sounds like a good idea, thanks. Sure. You take it easy now. Back into the cupboard, would you, Tanimura? The next day? Well, Jao-san, I'm off. Alright. Stay on your toes, Machan. Will do. Uh, literally just retrace my steps to go back to 
uh, Millennium Tower. Actually, we could just, uh, here we go. That's not where the marker was, but all right, fine. I could have stood there. Hello. Anta ga Katsuragi. Hi. I can't believe he would come personally to do this. Uh, how long have you been here? <laughs> Heh. Since long before you arrived. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Luigi, you saw me in the crowd, but didn't recognize me. That tells me you don't have much of a file on me. A great a relief, really. Now, what will it be? Shall we proceed with the deal? Now, let's walk and talk. Here? Around? Maybe it'll help jog your memory, you know? I'm sure you have so much to tell. I really have thought this through. A moving target is a lot harder to hit. No shit! <laughs> what, do you think I'm gonna... Do you think I'm going to risk... Or... You know... Dealing with a Yakuza? And not expect him to have, like, snipers or something? What kind of an idiot do you take me for? Not to mention, I thought you'd appreciate a nice long stroll through Tojo Clan cur Turf. Thoughtful of you. Then lead the way, Tanimuro-san. では、そろそろ本題に入りましょう。谷村さん。あなたはお父さんの死の真相が知りたいと、そうおっしゃってましたね。Be nice. <laughs> あれは25年前の上野義晴襲撃事件に関係しているんじゃないのか私は周りくどい交渉は好きじゃありません。はっきり言いましょう。違います。違うだと。今更何を言ってるんだ。俺は柴田が新井に殺された時、現場にいたん
だが極道社会ではそれは通じないだろうだからあんたは安子さんを使って柴田組の関係者を殺させ新井に指示して柴田を殺したそういうことかまあそういうことですねあくまで自分の犯行ではないというつもりかまあいい話を戻そう25年前俺の親父はなぜ殺される必要があったその理由を教えてもらおうあなたのお父さん谷村さんは25年前の事件の裏に私と柴田が動いていたことを突き止めただがその捜査の過程でもっと大きなものを発見してしまったんですそれは何なんだ不正ですあなたのお父さんは事件の捜査をしていくうちに警察内部の不正の事実を知ってしまったんですよ警察内部の不正だと<笑> 25年前の事件あの事件は警察によって捜査されたものだったんです佐江島大河ではない事件の真犯人を隠すためのね真犯人だとええそうですあの事件佐江島大河は襲撃を行ったでも真の犯人は別にもう一人いるんですあんたが安子さんに知っていると言った真犯人ってのはそいつのことなんだなあなたのお父さんはその真犯人の正体と真犯人を知りながらもそれをもみ消した警察の不正を知ってしまっただから殺されたんですよ誰なんだ親父を殺したやつってのはその真犯人ってのは<笑>こんな時間に外を歩いたのは久しぶりだおい答えろカツラギその前に取引です西島康子さんの居場所教えてもらいましょうか Don't you want the money? You'd rather know where she is? この1億はくれてやるだから安子さんのことは見逃してやってくれジマタイガニアウタミナアニオカシカノジョのヤクメアモワタザもう手遅れなんですよ。さえじまやすこも。お前も。I knew it wasn't gonna be this easy. Where did everybody go? It was like a whole quiet what? Questioning the game's logic. I know I, it happens a lot. Saejima Yasuko san wa ato de shimasu shimasu. Daga, mazu wa anata da. Katsuragi, kisama! Saigo ni oshiete arimasu yo. 25 nen mai no jiki. It was me! 18 nen koroshita shin han ni. Of course. <laughs> you question it, so that's why it's not your favorite. Yeah. Ano anata ga kayotte iru kokyo te mise. Ano mise no go shujin ni mo tsuide ni. You leave Jiaozhan out of this. Nanda to? Isoi de ikanai to korosare chai mas yo. Go shujin mo. I'm not sure if you're a Jew. I'm not sure if 
It's the police! いつも入り浸ってる店の連中が危ないんだろう。はい。お前ら全員捜査一課でまとめて面倒見てやる。かごしろ。次うち doing a good. Coming in clutch at the last. Do I have? I need to get the homeland before those thugs do. So. Just don't fight people. That'd be a lot easier. Uh, you question it, so that's why it's not your favorite Yakuza? Uh, yeah, I guess a, a lot of it is like the suspension of disbelief kind of thing. What? Why can't I go the. Oh, come on, can I really not go this way? I don't believe that. Can I really not go this way? Okay, fine. Do I really have to go like an intended path? Can I go this way? What way do I have to go? Through the underground? No? Okay. Well, what do you want from me? Do I have to beat up? Okay, I might have to beat up some of these people. I was thinking it's like, well, just don't fight people. It'd be a lot easier if you didn't have to fight people. But I guess the game's not gonna let me do that. I go now? I'm gonna beat that guy up and get the briefcase back. Okay. Um, I might have to heal here in a second. Oh, God, get out of here with the machine gun punches. I was trying to do the, uh...
How is he not? Chase battle, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna keep going, are you? Shit! Love a way to hide a load screen. I don't think I learned the thing that Akiyama learned. Fuck! I should have picked that up. Pick that one up at least, motherfucker! Come on. Alright, where did he go? I remember, keep on him! My goodness. Slow fucking bastard. Fuck. At least he's going in a circle. He's going in a circle now, so it's not that bad. What the fuck was that, Tanimura? This way, I'm still gonna win. Like, cause he's just gonna run out of stamina before I do. What the fuck? But you'll have to try harder than that. Too many goddamn tackles. I didn't tackle you. I think I only tackled you once. That was mostly a case of I threw a bottle at you and then you just ran out of stamina. I think I busted a rib. Going somewhere. People really don't give up, do you? Fine. It's a fight you want. You, you, you say he, they got it. However, I think I could just avoid it. Just check the map here for a second. We're trying to get the homeland, right? Oh no, I might, I might not be able to avoid it. I can't avoid it. I have to do the fight. Oh, Jesus. I actually have to heal. Uh... I feel like... Can I drop the briefcase temporarily? It's a hindrance. Like, I can't parry with it. So I can't fight my usual way. Which is, I mean, not to say that I normally parry, but...
Come on! It's taking way too long. I need to get there now. It's what I'm trying to say. That's why you should stop fighting every little guy and fucking just run there. Yeah, this puts the crown with Katsuragi's goons. There he is! I don't have time for this. Better make a run for it. Why didn't you do that from the beginning? Oh my god, okay. Now it's an ant, like a reverse chase. Oh good, I can't fucking run for the life of me. Oh, fucking god damn it. <laughs> what? Why are you taking the most roundabout way to fucking get there? You gotta be kidding me. Is it? Talk about hard to find. Scrap! Wouldn't want you getting hurt now, would we? Hold it right there. Well, uh, kudos on making it this far. Uh, take this to Homeland for me. Okay. I know you're after me, so leave these people out of it. I'm actually more interested in that restaurant and the money than you, but you want to walk us? Up, if you want us to walk over your corpse to get them, then hey, that's your call. Good, I don't have the briefcase anymore. I can actually fight. Oh my. Get out of here! Ah, right as my thing went out. I hate that. Even with the extended timer. I should have saved that for a different guy, but okay. Oh, he has brass knocks. That's why he's fighting like that. Oh, I just realized it. Why have to? I guess I have to fight this guy, don't I? I hate large lads so much. 
I was hitting the fucking hole. Fuck. Oh my goodness. Combo. I'm so happy I could hug you. Maybe after I catch my breath. Are you okay, Machan? Yeah. I'll be good in a minute. Oh, well, by the way, there's someone here to see you. Huh? Anibura Sukun. Thank goodness you're safe. Oh, it's the chief. Chief? The chapter ends on that? Chief? Is that you? Chapter 3 Door to the Truth. Might as well go right into the next chapter. Hi. What? You mean someone else killed those 18 men? Right. The Uena Sewa officers were taken out by one of their own, Katsuragi. And Yasuko Saijima's brother is innocent? Well, he did carry out the attack, so he's far from innocent. But there's a big difference in sentencing for murder and attempted murder. Uh, was this Katsuraki also responsible for killing your father? Uh, we don't know for sure. I couldn't get an answer out of him. I see. By the way, Taimura kun that stunt you pulled had me worried half to death. I got a call from Sugiuchi kun at Homicide telling me you were trying to contact the Ueno Sewa. I took it upon myself to search for you before you wound up in danger. Which ended up happening anyway. Ah, so that's why you're here. <laughs> I'm a raccoon. You must have some inclination as, how, as to how dangerous the Ueno Sewa clan is right now. Are you even aware of the gravity of this situation? Eh, more or less. The, the chief is getting fed up with him. Well, at least this Katsuragi seems to know something about your father's killer. Sounds like progress to me. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. And why the long face? Promising, you finally have a promising lead. Something that Katsuragi said has been bugging me. Hmm? And what was that? The police covered up the truth about the massacre in 85. They knew the real killer was Katsuragi, but they pinned it all on Saijima. Money. What? None of this rings a bell, Chief? No, I I'm not in homicide, and back then I was as low in the totem pole as it gets. How did you become Chief? Fair enough. So, with the police trying to protect Katsuragi, if so, why? Who knows? But they obviously couldn't let a scandal like that go public. Mm. I know. I just thought of something. Hmm? 
Maybe we could dig something up at headquarters. Oh, yeah? Oh. Okay, room 13 on basement level 3. Uh, so called forbidden room. Forbidden room? Ah. That's right. Also known as the scandal graveyard. It's the, what is it? The place we go where we bury all the stuff, all the shit that could get us in hot water? All records of policemen con misconduct over the years supposedly end up there. Oh, it is! <laughs> it is the room where we bury all the shit that would get us in hot water. <laughs> oh, so the uh, so the rumor goes. Interesting. We might just find something useful. Why not you exact? Yeah, that's a good question, Intuition. Why are you storing that information? If you really wanted to cover it up, you would like you would you would get rid of the information. Not oh we'll we'll keep it in a room. Surely no one will ever find this room. <laughs> oh, we we keep all incri our incriminating evidence in a desk over by the you know. But yeah, we we just might find something useful. Yes, uh, or, well, it could all simply be a rumor. Uh, still, it's worth a shot. In fact, I'm all over it. Now hold your horses, Tiny Moover Coon. Think about it. Our car 13 is smack dab in the middle of headquarters. A rookie like you can't just go strolling in there without permission. Now come with me, Chief. Never planned on asking. I mean, we're dealing with someone who could cover up mass murder. I doubt they'd be keen on giving me access to the evidence. Why are they keeping the evidence? Why not get rid of the evidence? You serious about this, Ma-chan? Uh, no, nothing. So, we all ready to go? Huh? Wait. We? Is it you and me? Of course. Us community safety boys gotta stick together, right? Besides, I've only been to HQ maybe once or twice. Oh, he's only the chief of community safety. Ah, I see. I don't know. For some reason, I was he. I thought he was like the chief of the whole police department. I probably couldn't find this archive even if I tried. You know right where it is, don't you, Chief? Huh? No, I... Well, I mean, yes, but uh, be that as it may... Great! Then I'll be counting on you. You probably shouldn't have said anything, Chief. That's on you. Head to police. All right. Okay, let's go. We can get there by taxi. I think I gotta take care before we go to HQ. No. <laughs> I doubt it. Let's just do it. Sure, I'm all set. Okay, but we pay our own cab fare. Uh, headquarters might start asking questions if we file an expense report. Uh, headquarters with, with Tokyo Metro Police. Ah, oh, very well. <laughs> yeah, well, we're with the police. Could you take us to the headquarters? Okay, thanks. Uh, nope.
I guess I'm just looking for the file. I did it. Nothing yet, Teddy Maracoon? What's taking so long? Hey, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Give me a break. Give me a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna look here. It was literally right in front of the chief. Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, I think I found it. You did? The assault on Yoshiharu Ueno. One, case overview. The attempt on Yoshiharu Ueno's life was carried out on April 21st, 1985. Shortly after 12 noon that day, a lone gunman armed with six revolvers burst into a ramen shop located in Tokyo's Tsukinami Ward. Yoshiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Sewa clan, was one of the 20 men shot inside and one of the two who survived. Godman was one Taiga Saijima, a 20-year-old member of the Kojo clan. On the day of the incident, Ueno had just been released after serving a two-year prison term. With him were several top members of his clan. This report is missing something, the Saikatsuragi said. According to him, he should be the one listed as the killer. But all that's here is the part Saijima played. That's true. 2. Investigation The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department formed a special investigation team led by Detectives Taiki Animura and Junji Sugiuchi. Oh, we should just go ask Sugiuchi kun about it. Probably, I don't know. Dad and Suguichi, the Sugiuchi, they worked on the case together. Why haven't I heard this before? What the hell's going on? And Tsukiyuchi was the one who covered it up, probably. That's the issue. Huh. Oh, what did you find out? More than I expected. You're not going to read the rest of the case? Okay. Let's go. What? Maybe. Yeah, I have a good lead. No point wasting any more time here. Yes. Chief, I have a few things I need to check out. Why don't I see you later? That's fine. I'll be back at the station if you need me. Just don't do anything crazy, you hear? Your father wouldn't want you going out guns blazing over this. I wouldn't go that far. You just dig out the list of evidence and... Yeah, exactly. You should just dig up the rest of the evidence and, you know, rat out the police. Absolutely. I think I'll head back to Homeland for now. I need some time to digest all this. Okay. Did anything come up? Nope. Doesn't look like there's any side stories. Guess we'll just go back to Homeland. There's, like, literally nothing here. I should, uh, I should put some stuff away. Hey, I'll do that at Homeland. Big fight reported on East Chichifuku Street. Alright, fine. We'll go take care of it. Bastards. Yeah, 
I, we've done this one before. I literally have done this one before. go to homeland if, as long as we don't get any more distractions I just, that's a weird hallway but okay oh Machad you're back how'd the thing go well we found the case report for the hit did what did it say a lot of stuff I already knew, but plus one new piece of information. Oh? Tsukiuchi was the one investigating that case, along with my dad. Tsukiuchi? The same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Uh-huh. I've talked to him more times than I care to remember, but he never once mentioned being on a case with my dad. That's despite him knowing how bad I want the truth. That's because he's probably hiding the truth. He's the one who probably covered it up. It wouldn't surprise me. That's not the worst of it either. I'm starting to believe someone on the force did my father in. Again, Sugiuchi. <laughs> I'm sure when the game reveals that, it's going to be a big surprise. But it's like, no! I, like, come on. Like, that's a little too obvious to not be a surprise. Like, Katsuragi said as much when we met yesterday. Another officer. Things just keep getting better, huh? Seriously. Why don't you call it a day, Machan? Even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. You do that. What do you mean it'll be? What do you mean it's gonna be as clone? It's totally not him. Hey, hey, Hua! Get Machan's futon ready! God, that was a short chapter. Holy crap! And I checked it took off like 15 minutes. Good lord, that was a short chapter. Chapter 4 A Detective's Honor. The next day! Boy. So, are you going to launch an internal investigation? Uh, not yet. There's something I need to do first. Hmm? What? What, give the money back? Don't tell me you're taking, a, you're taking off with the money. Yeah, I'm totally skipping town. Actually, I'm taking it back to its original owner. Who is that? Some money lender, apparently. It's got an office on Tenkaichi Street called Sky Finance. Oh shit, are two playable characters about to meet? Can you imagine how much interest 100 million yen would rack up if I just let it sit? Uh, not with Akiyama, it wouldn't, but uh, <laughs> yeah, forget that. Uh... Hi, Machan! 
Have a good day. Oh, oh, I'll try. Uh, see you later. After Sky Finance, I guess we're gonna meet Akiyama. Not like I can do much else, so as long as I'm wearing the- as long as I'm holding the briefcase, I'm not allowed to do, like, a whole bunch of other stuff. Surprisingly, I could play Mahjong still. I did that last time. Uh, when we, um... We're supposed to go home... Homeland with the briefcase. I played Mahjong. I think I'll just... Go to Sky Finance. Oh, wait, a. <laughs> the game knows always allow Mahjong. Yeah, you can you can cut off every other mini game, but you must let him play Mahjong. I think we're just gonna go to Sky Finance. We could do Mahjong afterwards if I'm feeling like it. I think I'm just going to meet Akiyama. So Sky Finance was here all along. Yeah, I'm surprised too. It was right about Serena. Oi, Dora got you know. Holy crap. Dojira sa Anta Akiyama Sanka. So this kid Oh? Huh? Anta, Doko got her. Huh? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, they're the guy who told him to run, but yeah. I didn't realize that back in Akiyama's part, but that was actually interesting. Anta Yasko san ni kaneo kashita otoko datta no ka. Yasko? Because I'm a cop. Alright, it's time to play catch up. Ah, so that's her story. She didn't tell you any of this? Nope, never asked. I always figured it was something serious, but dang. Borrowing enough to put a hundred millionaires in debt? Oh, to save your wrongfully accused brother on death row? But the ironic thing is, he broke out of prison and is in Kamurocho anyway? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I guess she would still want to save him from being wrongfully accused. But he's no longer on death row, he broke out of prison. I just wish she'd come to me earlier. Might have saved her from going down a dark path. Well, now that Katsuragi's broken his promise, we can at least put the money issue to rest. Here. I'm sure that she'd want you to have this. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? I'm saying I won't accept the money. We're straight. Uh, okay. Explanation, please? Uh, regardless of how things went down, I lent that money to her. Is, isn't it only right that she be the one to return it? I mean, I suppose, but she's... She skipped town. I don't know. Don't that leave a big gaping hole in, a, in your account? Oh. No. Yeah, detective, I have so much money, I hardly know what to do with it. And I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I couldn't give a rat's ass if I never saw it again. Uh, why? See, I only lend money to people I feel are worth investing in. That way, I can see how my loan affects their life. That's a much more meaningful reward than seeing numbers on a spreadsheet. Not sure I understand your logic, but okay. <laughs> Point is, I'm not taking that money. Not till she returns it in person. Where is she, anyway? 
Okinawa. She's probably going to run into Kiryu in his part. I would not be surprised about that, actually. I feel like that's going to happen when we get to Kiryu, because whatever that'll be. Because you can't have a Yakuza game without Kiryu. We already saw him earlier in uh, Saijima's part, but we got to have more than just that. I'm sure we'll be playing as Kiryu sometime. And I'm sure she's going to run... I'm sure Yasuka's going to run into Kiryu then. Okinawa. Her brother was transferred to prison a few days ago and then promptly broke out, but she doesn't know that. She said she wanted to be near him on his execution date. I knew she was a keeper. What? Did I not mention? I fell for her. But, like, in love? Exactly. So I'd really like to see her again. Fortunately, that the money's the only connection between us now. If I take it back from you, then the connection is cut, and I'll probably never see her again. Some say love lasts... Some say love lasts only as long as the money. This logic, I know. You're like, did you not like exchange information, like a phone number or something? You could probably contact her. Ain't that the truth? Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as it's a Rison business. Right? Uh, one second. Hello. Oh, Kido-chan, how have you been? Uh, found a rice on yet? What? Ishma? You mean the Ueno goon without a bullet in his head? Uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get back to you. Bye. Who was that? I heard something about finding a rye. It was Keto, a rye's right hand man. What? Might as well tell you now. I'm helping Keto find his boss, a rye. He's a good kid. Uh, why? Because I can't afford to lose a rye sign. The bottom boys are going nuts trying to find him. They're trying to appease the Ueno Sewa by handing him over. They have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Oh, so they don't know that Arai's working for Katsuragi in the first place? <laughs> oh, maybe Tanimuro will explain that to Akiyama right now. Of course, if what, you said is, if what you just said is true, I've been betting on the wrong horse. Uh, what's your connection with Arai, anyway? I've been backing him out of personal interest. I'm not a mob front or anything. <sighs> Still, this whole thing's been a real kick in the sack. Who'd imagine a rise sign would be in bed with Katsuragi? I never pegged him as the type to make a move like that. I don't think anybody did. Huh, so what exactly was that call about? Huh? Oh, that. Uh, Kido-chan was looking for a ride when he stumbled across the o other Ueno goon. You know, the one that disappeared after the shooting. There was another one? A guy named Mishma. He was sworn brothers with Ihara, the guy Arai ventilated downstairs. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to put it. Yeah, I guess he uh, ventilated him. Uh, so what about him? He's asking for police protection. In exchange, he says he'll cough up if all he knows. Hey, I'm a police officer. We should probably go over there. He wants the police? Huh. He wants a detective he can trust. I'm a detective! And... We're sort of trustworthy sometimes. 
One that can protect him from the Ueno Sewa clan. I think you should go talk to him. Me? Yeah, you're a perfect fit. I mean, based on what you said, the force sounds like a total snake pit. But you can't count on Sugiuchi san or your superiors. What better person than you? Why should I? Who knows? Might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. How do you figure? This is shooting between the Ueno Sewa and Kanamura Enterprises, right? I've got this hunch it's all connected to the case your old man was working back in 85. There's just too much overlap between the main players to be a coincidence. Possibly. Possibly. まあ、カツラギは柴田と共謀して登場会を乗っ取ろうとしていた。そこにリリちゃんの殺人だ。カツラギは共謀していたはずの柴田を裏切り、さらに25年前の事件の真相を知る人間を消そうとした。強引なや
Nishima is supposed to be hiding in a warehouse on the docks. Even there by cab will draw the least attention. It also is the only option. I don't think I can get it. Nishima! It's that blonde haired fuck everyone's on the lookout for. Find him ASAP, damn it! And quit fucking around, it's the top priority! I don't care if it gets you killed, just find him! Got it? This guy sure has it out for Mishma. I wonder if he's a way to say what, man. I don't know, it's a good question. Well, uh, we're not gonna take a taxi yet. A uh, suspicious street vendor reported in Tekoji Alley. I need to talk to these two first. Top members of our family have been on edge lately. I get the feeling that an all-out war is about to go down. Yeah, same here. My people told me to stay in constant contact in case shit hits the fan. Things are really heating up around the way to say what clan. They're running around like crazy trying to find some guy. Hey, that reminds me. I'm told to call in if I come across some guy named Mishma. Yeah, Mishma, that's the one. I wonder what the hell he did. Never tell us low-level guys nothing. There's a big reward, so I ain't asking questions. Alright. Nkochi Alley is this one, so... Wait, how big is Senkaichi Alley? Senkaichi Street. Alley. It's up in the street. Oh, I just missed it then. Hold on. He's gotta be behind here then. I didn't see it. Oh, it's you again. He was selling, like... I think he sells, like... If I recall, he was selling, like, Black Market Viagra or some crap. It was something like that. From the last time we took him down. Ah, fudgers. Okay. Of course he picked a route that doesn't have any bottles on it. How dare you! You bastard. This time it's... Oh, it's like Hemorrhoid Cream and Hair Growth Restore in two pays. That's what it was. Not <laughs> Black Market Viagra. <laughs> well, I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> what? Look, I'm just selling stuff that the top yakis out there are too embarrassed to buy on their own. Come on, just take this and give me a loan. Sorry about that, boy. Well, there's a side story over here. And there's one above the Dragon Palace. Okay. Any other ones? Nope. Okay. Let's start with the one over here, then. 
uh, or here then. Uh, hi there, do we know each other? Um, these guys look like professionals, uh, I'm guessing they work for Bridge. Oh, we're getting back to that case, are we? That just means I'm getting closer to uncovering his true identity. I'm almost to the bottom of this, Dad, so I can't go dying just yet. Oh, I should deal with Gun Guy first! And I'll just use the gun against them. Don't worry, they're not dead. I guess even professionals run away with their tails between their legs. You know, after they get shot. Uh, I should get in touch with Saki-chan about our next move. Uh, achievement Slayer. How are you doing today? Oh, chan I was hoping I'd hear from you, sweetie. Are you finally calling to ask me out? I appreciate your good humor, but there's no time to jump around. Uh, we need to talk about Bridge. Oh, you'll tell me tonight? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you answered in advance. Oh, you're no fun. Well, okay. How about we meet up at Shellac again? Uh, show it is. I'll see you there. Yep. Show is this way. Going down to the shell -ack. Keep getting the two. This one's Shell Act. The other one's Earth Angel. Okay, there we go. I keep, I keep getting them confused. You're late. You know you're not supposed to keep a lady waiting. I got here as fast as I could. Give me a break. Uh, sorry. So that's what Yabe Song left behind. Hmm, you're right. I'm afraid that alone won't be enough to catch our man. And here we were so close. Isn't there anything we could do? I could always infiltrate the syndicate and scope things out. What do you say to that? I'd say it's too dangerous. Oh, please. All I'd be doing is working my magic at an affiliated venue. Besides, now that I've seen the documents, wouldn't you say I've passed the point of no return? Uh, I get that, but... Uh, what would you even do? I masquerade as a hostess. We talk my way right up to the big bad bridge himself. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know if you'd pass as a hostess. Oh, 
have a little faith. With enough makeup and the right dress, I could be your perfect femme fatale, and you know it. Well, you certainly have the charisma. Alright then, just just don't do anything too crazy. I don't know if this'll work, but sure. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I looked into the relationship between my dad and this mystery man, Kay. I've got nothing to lose, so I was thinking I'd get my fortune read by that greedy old lady. Why do we keep going to the fortune teller? This is not a way to solve crime! Not really sound. Yeah, she really seems to know her stuff. I don't know what's in that crystal ball, anyway. You know Naomi-san's actually an informant, right? Aha! I thought she seemed suspicious. That's one hell of a cover she's got. Don't tell anyone, okay? There's a lot of risk involved with being an informant in Kamarocho. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now if she's actually an informant. Why do you know what? Why do you want to know about Kay so bad anyway? Uh, Kay's another name that pops all up over, uh, pops up all over my dad's notebook. I just want to know what kind of person he was. Besides, there might be some connection to Bridge. I see. Well, if I find out anything, I'll contact you. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. Oh, wait, go back in. I wanted to get plastered. Okay, what are the cheap liquors here? What do we have left to taste? It's probably only the expensive shit, right? Uh, yep. Let's start with Corvusier. Cor... Cor... Corvusier? I... I... Mm. That's the cheapest of the expensive ones. A remarkable specimen from France. This one won a top prize in an international cognac competition. A blend of grapes from the four finest crew in the cognac region produces a full but smooth palate. You haven't tasted cognac until you've tried this one. <laughs> Who cares, bottom up? I mean, yeah, you're right, I'm using a coupon. Uh. Another drink? Uh, what's the next cheapest one? Looks like it's one of the 3,500 ones. <laughs> this limited edition Yamazaki was created in 1999 to commemorate Suntory's 100 year anniversary. A long aging process in sherry wood barrels produces a perfect balance. I'm certain anyone fortunate enough to enjoy this rare whiskey will experience pure bliss. Its price puts it just within reach as far as dream whiskeys go. I enjoy drinking it on special occasions. I bet we're plastered now, right? Yep. <laughs> I gotta go grab another coupon. We gotta remember to go to the underground to grab another coupon. Wonder if I, uh, attempted coercion reported uh, East Taipei Boulevard. Okay. Further this way, then. Ah, oh, this one again. Hey, hey, hey. We, we gotta beat up these barkers again. They they never learn. They never learn. He 
Yikes! Those guys should sure know how to run away. Oh, are you alright? Oh. Yeah, I don't need to read this again. We're supposed to be going to the fortune teller, right? All right. Uh, let's go do that, I guess. I also got to remember to grab a coupon. So yeah, we'll go to the uh, fortune teller. Uh, grab a coupon from the underground. And then, I don't know, continue from there. I knew you would return. Hello, Ms. Informa- Hello, Ms. Information Dealer. I assume you heard that from Saki. Blessed with the gift the gab she is. Or should I say cursed? It was the detective by the name of Yusuke Kaga who was inquiring into your father and bridge. Kaga? So that's what he meant by K. Most likely. Yusuke Kaga. Oh, that's one mystery solved. Only thing is, the name K suddenly stops appearing in my father's memo book one day. Kaga was fired for mistakes made on the job. I wonder if Kaga's bridge. That'd be ironic. Fired? After that, he opened a coffee shop. Oh, and prostitutes were among his rest regular customers. Really? He had looked after them while he was still a detective. Even after he was fired, they would still come to him seeking advice. Does he still work at the shop? He died. 26 years ago. I bet he didn't. Cause of death? It was reported as accidental, but all the facts pointed it towards murder. So basically he was eliminated because he got too close to those foreign prostitutes. The matter is too cloudy for Naomi to see. I don't believe a detective my father respected so much would make careless mistakes. He shot and killed an innocent bystander by accident during one of his cases. I seriously doubt that's true. But why? Because crack detectives like him know how to use a gun. I doubt he'd miss his mark like that. Eh, you seem to be a fine detective yourself. Your father said that Kaga had been set up. By Bridge? That they cannot see, but during an investigation on illegal immigration, the trail led Kaga to a certain government official. Government official? He goes to the top! To the top, I say! A few of the undocumented workers arrested by Kaga had been issued suspicious-looking visas. Many of them had been bought under this. Many of them had been bought under the table. Someone was selling visas. Foreigners needed a foreigners need a work visa or a student visa in order to work in Japan. But the screening for such visas is very strict. Many foreigners end up buying them for corrupt officials for 400 to 500,000 yen. Naomi has even heard of some who pay a million. Why would anyone pay so much to come to Japan? Back then, we had a labor shortage. Employers never seemed to have enough workers. But most of all, migrant workers saw Japan as the promised land, where jobs grew on trees. 
about the suspected that government official of receiving money for il issuing illegal visas? Exactly. So who was this official? They need weaves. Yeah, sure, weaves too. They also want to go to Japan. Naomi does not know for certain. However, it may very well be Bridge. Yeah. Nakamura! It's me! I've got some info on that group! Oh, you do? Let's meet somewhere away from prying eyes. How about the rooftop garden on top of Volcano? I'll be there. Right after I go to the underground and grab a copy of Kamarucha Garay. I, I take it that was Saki-chan. Yep. He was quite close to Kaga before he died. No kidding. You should talk to Saki-chan if you wish to learn more about Kaga. Thank you. All right, let's go to the underground. That's literally like right over here. I heard rumors of this gate for years. Can't believe my peepers, it's actually standing in front of me now. Yeah, it's a pretty nice gate. I'm gonna deny. While I'm here, I guess I could also check uh, the the locker. That goes down. Okay, well, I don't want to go down. I want to get back up. Alright, so, Volcano, she said. Alright. Ew, fuzzy money? Why is your money fuzzy? I think you should get that checked, dude. Uh, actually, no, this is fine. We gotta go to a Volcano, which means I gotta go up to the left. Went right by volcano. God dang it! I'm just like blindly walking. Let me go here. Ordered in the door on West Taipei. That's up here. Okay, hold on. We'll go do that. Daki Chan can wait. Where is West Taihei? West Shichifuku. Taihei is... Oh, down here. Fuck. I went the wrong way. Balls! Taihei's the lower one. Hmm.
the hell is this? I think they're heading out a special edition of Tokyo Sports. Sure, what is it? Something about a UFO? Oh, it's that's not Tokyo Sports, that's an actual like book. Hey look, it's Taiga. Saijima in the bottom right corner. I hate boulevards this one. I think. Found it finally. Finally, I found it. Oh, come on. Oh, right as you oh, come on. Can I not block that? Maybe not. We'll go to Saki Chan. Any place Saki told Saki Chan told me about should be around here somewhere. Cheers. Handsome. Hey, don't surprise me like that. Sorry, honey. Things are starting to heat up, so I'm taking extra precautions. Is everything okay? I told you. I passed the point of no return now, but it was worth the risk. What'd you find out? Tuga Tugawa. He's the man behind the fake marriages counterfeit passports, shady recruitment strategy, and just about everything horrible under the sun. So is he Bridge? I don't think so, but he's definitely affiliated. Sugo Sugawa runs a trading company called Urban Foods. They import food mainly from Asian countries. That's how he gets all his local information. His on-site employees seem to be handling the recruitment operations as well. He learned all that so quick. He must have been one hell of a detective back in the day. By the way, I wanted to ask you. Uh, what is it? Hey, we heard all that, by the way. What? I thought you were just another shady lady, but it turns out you're working with a cop. Nice knowing you, Officer Okama. Huh, so you found me out. I guess I lost my touch. I'll have to work on that. 
Dr. John needed to run. But I'll take this wrong, but you just be getting in my way here. If you say so. Don't be at a busy time, so let's settle this quick, okay? I'm sure you understand. Oh dear. Guy who throws grenades. You gotta go. Mr. Grenade Boy, you better you gotta go. Chan, are you all right? Woo! I haven't ran that much in ages. Oh, you'll live. Now, where's, Sugo, where's Sugawa's company, this Urban Foods? I'm going after him. Don't you think you're rushing things just a bit? We've already been targeted by a hit hitman. If we don't act fast, we'll only be leaving ourselves open to more danger. Time to go on the offensive. Say youthful optimism shining through. All right, Urban Foods is in the building with the information booth on Super on Supping Street. Don't take them lightly. Supping Street. Got it. You hardly- I don't think I've gone there once this game. Uh, Supping Street is, uh... Never mind, the game's gonna automatically go there. Or, no, it's gonna get off the roof. Okay, Supping Street is... Uh, this one right here, I think. You hardly, like, go to it. Oh, no, not this one. Uh... The one above this one, then. Uh, maybe it's this one? Right near the, the bowling alley? Do you put something street? No, you can as part of Theater Alley, apparently. Uh, I think I'm right. I think something street is... I'm gonna look now, because I'm not sure. Uh... Oh, it was that one. Uh, yeah, you hardly go to this one. I think, uh, I think in Yakuza 0, this is the street where, uh, the, the real estate was on, I think. So this is Urban Foods. The Gawa had better be in here. Hanimura! Are you Sugawa? How'd you know my name? Wait, what? <laughs> so you came all this way just to run into a little old dead end. Why, you think you're gonna get rid of me? <laughs> Look, pal, you're in deep shit. And I mean the deep end of deep shit. You're in a, you're in over your head and shit. In fact, you're about to be buried in it just like that corpse of a rider. Okay, yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. Boy, this office is familiar. Oh dear, oh no. Uh. 
Oh, come on. Can I get a move in? No? Okay, sure. then you know the guy they call bridge yeah you know the guy they call bridge right you're shit out of luck i don't know what damn thing okay let's make a deal huh give up bridge's identity and promise never get to never get involved with crime again and i'll forget about everything you've done or you can rot in a jail cell that's your choice Will you promise you'll never tell anybody I talked? Sure. Real name of the man they call Bridge is Yuji Katsura. Yuji Katsura. He's the chairman of the Asian Women's Friendship Association. Friendship, huh? So they use that as a front to hide the terrible things they really do. If you value your life, you should run. We can't arrest... We can't arrest Kats... <laughs> we can't arrest Katsura based on Tsugawa's statement alone. Right. We can't afford to make any stupid moves until we get some hard evidence. He's completely hidden his trail so far, so he must be really sweating balls by now. A man like that can never let his guard down. I meant to ask you this before, but I heard you were close with Detective Kaga before he passed away. What? Who told you that, uh, Naomi? Oh, she did, did she? Uh, could you tell me more about him? I helped Kaga sign out after I quit my detective job. At the cafe he ran? Yeah. I used to counsel sex workers that came there whenever they had problems. Then the syndicate found me out. Uh, how? Kaga san. He was involved with them too. Was he on their payroll? Possibly. If he was, then why would they kill him? Because he fell in love with a certain woman. One of the illegals? Yes. A woman from Thailand. They killed him when he tried to help her escape. But you never sold but you never sold yourself out and you're still helping immigrant women. There will always be women who find themselves in trouble. Somebody has to be there for them. Dang, you're a true hero. Don't you mean heroin? <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go get another drink. Which means I gotta get another coupon, probably.
people say that the 30 year old is La is Lafrague's finest. It has a sweet mellowness, some sherry barrels, and a boldness from the pay from the pea. Add to the <coughs> add to it this add to this its rich, full flavored taste, and you have a well balanced range of flavors. Even those who find Lafrague's usual kick a bit overpowering should enjoy this 30 year old. Its exceptional character is what it's many has won it many awards for best malt whiskey. I don't know if I'm saying Lafrague correctly. I don't even know what language that's supposed to be. Like some kind of Gaelic one, I'm imagining. Now I gotta go grab another coupon. What? There's one right here? Uh... uh... It's not at all? Okay, whatever. Uh, who's this? It is I, the great Naomi! Naomi-san, how'd you get my number? <laughs> Remember who you're speaking to! Anyway, I found out what Katsura is doing behind the scenes. Saki-chan Saki told you about him, didn't she? You didn't have to, you don't have to get involved with this, you know. You don't ask you to look after me, boy. If you want to know more, come see me. Okay, I, I owe you one. Guess we'll, hmm. Guess we'll wrap up with that. Wrap up with knowing with taking down bridge once and for all. Drunken brawl reported in Senrio. That's that's over here, I think. I'm not sure if we've done this one before or not. We might not have, which just means I didn't I read I didn't read that. And oh well. There's a lot of men here. I don't feel like we've done this one before. dudes here. I don't think we've done this one before. It doesn't ring a bell. Jeez, what the hell are you guys doing? Don't you even worry about what people will think? Oh, whatever happens, I can't let the guys that work here about this one. Please, just take this and forget about it. Alright. I'm gonna- we're gonna go back to the underground, grab another coupon, and then... Um... Then go to Naomi. To wrap up this tale of bridge.
examine? Let's say enter or examine. It's a, it probably said enter. Probably. Oh, yeah, I mean, now we're doing on the old health. Let's go eat. Alright, I guess we'll get another one. That, that would fill me? I don't believe that, but okay, sure. Alright, let me go get another coupon. I like having the coupon. And it's not that hard to get, you just gotta come down here, go to the underground every so often. I knew you would return! Oh, Saki-chan's here too, huh? Well, you might as well just tell me about Katsura. The Asian Women's Friendship Association was merely a front for Katsura. Uh, what do you mean? He was used to get to connect with various Asian political figures and then profit handsomely from Japanese overseas development assistance. But aren't associations like that non-profit? He, he contracts out all the work to companies run by relatives. There are 14 of these companies in all, both big and small. Hmm. Doesn't anybody notice that it's at least a little bit suspicious? A little hush money to police and politicians works wonders. This is true. You know how much... Hanimori, you should know about hush money. You know how much hush money you get collected collect on a daily basis? My god. That would take an awful lot of cash. That is where the foreign prostitutes come in. Katsura is extorting money from them like there's no tomorrow. Do I have proof of this? Finding proof is your job, detective. But if Katsura were the sex industry kingpin known as Bridge, it would all start to make sense. So he's hiding behind a banner of compassion while secretly exploiting immigrant women? The problem is, how do we get close to Katsura? I have an idea. Ah, oh, do tell. I'll simply call the association and tell them I'm coming to see Katsura. And... They'll wait for a hitman to show up and try to stop you? Aren't you putting yourself at an unnecessary risk? What choice do I have? I need some way to pick up his trail. Will you lure the hitman out around here? Too crowded. Their kind only strike where there are few people around. I'll head over to Pink Alley after I call. That's where the attack will take place? Yep. Can I count on you for backup? Leave it to me. Still going to Pink Alley? Uh, 
Boiler ink and plate received from the convenience store on Tinkarji Street. Well, there's only one convenience store on Tinkarji Street. And it's the Popo! I'm also the Popo! Beer bottle not count? Or fine. <laughs> or the, well, my parry just wore off as he hit me with the beer bottle. If I'm heading to Pink Alley, I should probably, you know, head to Pink Alley. That's over this way. Ah! Guys, I know someone wants to kill me. This would be the perfect place. There he is. Or I guess it's a few of them. There you are, right on schedule, boys. Now I just have to lure you into a dead end and we can go from there. So it's an anti chase? Or we're just. Okay, we're cut. Uh. You have any idea what we're about to do to you? That's my line. What the? Say your prayers. Say your prayers, bitches. There's no escape now. Leave this to me, Saki-chan. As for you idiots, hurry up and bring it. I don't have all day here. Oh, we're in the alley in where I mean, oh, we're in We're in the area by in the champion district. I think. No, we're in Nakamichi Alley. Oh, okay. your boss and tell him you've gotten rid of me. Oh, but do it. You're going way too soft on him, sweetie. Huh? Back when I was cracking heads and solving cases with the Hiroshima PD, I had a little nickname for me. Ever heard of Saki the Demon Asshole? No, of course you haven't. Then listen up good, you little shit. What's happening? Huh? Are you fucking brain dead? Make the goddamn call! Or I will pry open your skull like a sea out of cracking an oyster and canvas the street with your head goo! There's no need to go that far. Alright, I'll, I'll do as you say. Uh, it's me. Honeymoon is a done deal. That's right. Good boy. I'm gonna punch your ass anyway. <laughs> well, how was I? Scary as hell. You make one badass detective. Uh. 
Happy Mario here. I have some information for you. Uh, what? Next Monday, Katsura will be holding a symposium at none other than the Millennium Tower. Oh, hello, Guan. How are you doing today? And would you believe it? The name of this symposium is Empowering Asian Women. You doing good? Very nice. I'm also doing all right. Katsura is apparently finishing his preparations there as we speak. It's rare for him to be out in public like this. Perfect. And this is my chance to take him out. I would exercise extreme caution if I were you. I appreciate the tip. Alright, so we're gonna go over there, beat up Katsura, and, uh... That'll be that. Now I've got his ass. I'll watch these three while you do what you have to do. I guess this is what we've been waiting for. Best of luck, Han. That's, uh, hopefully I won't need it. Uh, where we're going, we don't need luck. Chairman, Chairman, we're expecting about 5,000 visitors on the day of the symposium. Hmm? How about our VIPs? Three government ministers, including the Minister of Health, Labor, and Welfare, and four other representatives from various industries. <laughs> Excellent. This will be a major PR boost for my foundation. Nothing like a couple of men with money to run the Asian Women's Friendship Association, wouldn't you say, boys? Hey, Katsura! Masayoshi Tanimura, Community Safety Division, Kamarocha PD. Any of that ring a bell? What the devil? What's wrong? Did I scare you? You look like you've seen a ghost. What is this nonsense? I don't have time to play games here. And playing dumb won't help either. I was almost killed several times thanks to you. <laughs> You're delusional. Sad to see the force hired a detective who su suffers from bouts of paranoia. <laughs> Think I'm lying? How's this for proof? I took this phone here from one of the men you sent after me. Watch what happens when I try to contact the guy you called to report the hit. Why would you give out your actual phone for that? Your actual phone number. I finally tracked you down, Katsura. Or should I say, Bridge. Why you hurry up and silence this fool? Are they Yakuza? I'm not sure they would be Yakuza, actually. Years ago, you murdered a detective named Kaga, didn't you? 
and what that? He was one of your own, wasn't he? Why'd you have to kill him over something so trivial as running away with the woman he loved? Don't oh, come any closer. Do I gotta chase him now? Oh, my jeebles. Really, dude? You're gonna try to run away? Uh, what are you doing, Tony Mara? Out of my way! Fuck! Oh, you lucky bastard. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, Thank God I had that bottle. I think I was going to lose in a second. Give it up, Katsura. You're done. Damn it. This moron has no one left to run, yet he's still whipping around like a hurt animal. Dude's in full denial. Oh, there's a lot. There's a coin locker key right there. Get back! I'm warning you! Look, even if you do shoot me, my friends are clued into everything. They'll hunt you down and bring you to justice. Ah, oh, that bastard. Made it seem like he was under my thumb and then had to go investigate me behind my back. What? In my world, there's no worse threat than someone who can't be bought. And you killed him just for that? <laughs> he got killed because he was stupid. Instead of saving his own hide, he let himself get caught by me. All to protect that woman and her kid. I got had a child? Yeah. With that Thai woman he fell in love with. After she discovered what our organization really was really all about, I tried to have her silenced. But she fled back to Thailand after having her baby here. So I plan to use her baby as bait to lure her back to Japan. <sighs> then I found out Kaga hid the baby somewhere. He hid the baby? He probably placed the baby in someone else's care. I never heard about the brat after that. So his child grew up without knowing him. Or where they came from? I had him try to protect this woman and this kid would have had me by the throat eventually. It was one of the few men I truly feared. I'll give him that. Matter of fact, you're the spitting image of him. Is that just a coincidence? You trying to say I'm the baby? That's interesting. If that's what you're trying to insinuate. So, now it's all over, hmm? Well, it is. My dad mentioned something cryptic at the very end of his notebook. It was about taking care of the treasure that Kay left behind. So he did. Taki-chan, you told me that if I kept looking into the case, I'd find out things about my past. I guess you already know by now. Yeah, my real dad was Kaga. Uh, why was 
back. Yeah, okay. Why, did you, did you do you not look nothing like your dad? Yes. Now, it's true that Kagasan let himself get corrupted by money, but he hoped you would never lose your sense of justice like he did. That's why he named you Masayoshi. Because your name means justice. It all makes sense now. I hope you're not too shocked by the truth. Like I told you before, I really don't care who my real dad is. How could you still say that? I grew up reading this notebook ever since I was a little boy. It was the closest connection I've had to any sort of parents, real or not. Because it has the words of both your real father and your foster father. Right. That was the story of two brave men who gave their lives to fight against a giant crime syndicate. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Hmm? <laughs> I just want to little give, give you a little token of my affection. Here you go. Uh, the notebook? No, the notebook is not his father. The notebook, he, the notebook was from his father, but it, it kind of like it talked about like all the cases and stuff he was investigating. Um. Oh come on! Don't make me say it. Just don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. And uh, whenever you get the chance, maybe we could sit down together sometime. And you could share some stories with me about my old man. What, Kaga? Or I guess Kaga. I guess it would have been Kaga. 10,000! My goodness, that's a lot of experience. Gang violence supported at an adult blah, 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 North Pink Street. That's this one over here, I think. Let's use a little Asia to cut through. I wanted to go freaking save, but apparently not. Now we can go, hopefully, wrap up. Although it looks like there's a sub-story right in front of Homeland, so... Maybe not? I, oh, I could ignore it for now. Uh, well, I'll ignore it for now. We'll probably do it. We'll start with that next time, then. Oh no, toughness separate is fine. 